This rivalry that dates to 1893, 22nd ranked Mississippi State in a Magnolia State showdown. We'll go to Jordan. 14 home runs this year, top 10 in the SEC, an average slug on base percent. Stadiums. And a ground ball to short, backhanded pickup by Braden Randall and takes care of Larry. And he drives this one high into center field. Ethan Groff is underneath it. Swing and a miss. Got him on the sinker, and he finishes off three consecutive SEC series led by Andrew Fisher, team leader in home runs, top ten. And the first pitch fastball is popped up into center field. Ijack puts that one away. New Jersey native, and he lifts one to center field. There is very little wind in the ballpark here near in sunset tonight. 0-2 to Ethan Groff. Runner not going again. Swing and a miss on that slider. And that'll finish him off in the first inning. Both pitcher. He's got stuff up. And a swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back K's for Riley Maddox. Strikeouts in 36 and a third coming in. And a hit batter. Fourth of the season for Maddox. Uh, on both wild pitches and pass balls. Runner goes. A throw to third is high. And a stolen base. A wild pitch and a stolen base. And a four-pitch walk puts Chance aboard. Maddox, two and three with a 4-4-6 ERA. And off the handle, up the middle. Tough play at second. Got him! And a double play. It's a one-two pitch. And this is a soft line drive. Just past the reach of Mershon. And Ross will reach with the first hit of the game for either side. Let's 1-1 one, one to Lions. And this one's muscled into shallow center. Checked down by Mershon. And two down. Three straight conference series, including back-to-back -back sweeps. And Cal Steven and they missed most of last year with an elbow injury. Up the middle off of his leather, played by Fisher. And he takes care of Osa than Pitt. And he was the main character in the uh, bench-clearing brouhaha with Georgia game two of their series last weekend. Two down. And chops one high to the right side. Play by Hill. And that'll close at third. The third. That was Chris Lamonis just said. Baseball's big in this state. Sinking shot to the gap. What a play by Isaac. At the end of fall, he was the best hitter on the team. But you're kind of feeling it on both sides, both in the field and at the plate. So moved him to second to try and take some pressure off. Little dribbler up the middle, and Mershon makes it look pretty easy. One, two, three innings. That's nothing. What a start for the Kentucky Wildcats. Fly ball to left field. And handled. Top 10 in slugging and on base. And the 2 0 is lasered to right center field. Utamark tracks it down nearly 11th in the league in home runs. They score seven and a half runs per game, and this one driven to center. Groff coming in for it, and Jordan will be held to first. Now his senior, here's the 0-2. Caught just a piece of it, chopped to third. Fisher across the grass makes the play. No, I know nobody at Ole Miss would want to admit it, but the record keeping seems to be a little bit more intact on the state side of things. Fly ball to right. Like any good journalist, want to keep digging. You get an advanced copy of this book. You get chapter by chapter at this point. I should. <laughs> Fly ball high to right field, lost by Jordan, and now he relocates it. And that'll close question mark in the teleprompter. This one will stay fair. Fisher's got it, and the throw is too high. Turning and headed has a runner in scoring position for the second time tonight at .68. Ground ball to the right side with the shift on. That will get the run home. And Mississippi State Downs gets the bunt down. Chance can advance to third base, and... Larry is over two with a couple of ground outs. This one off the tape and reached for and handled by Randall. Uh, 67. 76. Ground ball against the ship goes left of the bag and through. And fly ball into left center field. And the shortstop going back is able to make the catch. Another one, and a swing and a miss for Utamark. 
Two down, it is the fit K for Cass. And the freshman takes a healthy cut at this one. Sends it to left center field and catch made. Swing and a fly ball, center field. And Gropp all the way back to the wall and it's over the wall and gone. Gropp. That looked like a routine a fly ball on the inside part of the plate. Think about the last two locations when Dakota Jordan was up there. Fastball inside on his hand. Up the middle, over the bag. Third straight hit to start this sixth inning against Riley Maddox. And Heizek sends a shot into center field. Fourth straight hit. And a ground ball up the middle. A run will score. The throw over gets the first out of the inning, but Hunter Hines, at high school football player, Pella High School, broke his fibula and dislocated his ankle his senior year, so he moved to miss. Ground outs have produced runs. And he sends a line drive into the gap in left center. That's going to get down. Another run comes home. Kohler's got his third ribby of the game. You get a bullpen and arm coming in. You're going to sit first pitch fastball, assuming that's what you're going to get with Runners on first and third. He got it a little bit elevated, but Kohler short. That momentum. Taking all the way. And that's a four-pitch walk to Zuri in terms of who will make it. Chopper to third. Long throw across the diamond. Had a chance of the first three weeks in the SEC and what we've seen the last four games. Seeing eye grounder gets through the right side. One run home. Here comes the second. The throw from Utermeyer is up the line. And get inning. That is the second hit of the inning for David Mershon. Point, but little things run. make a big difference. There's two little things that happen the last two plays that make a difference. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Low 90s fastball. For Mitch Murray, what is an incredibly proud program. Another shot to left field that will tail right back to chance. Leje sends this one high into the sky, handled by Mershon at short. And it puts it. I am good with it. Is it good? And there's a leadoff walk to put Hines aboard. I'm. Isaac sends a ground ball to short chance for two. Hill at second makes a turn and he is safe down the line. Chance reached on an error in the fifth, came around to score and he sends this one down the line and fair. Headed to third is Isaac and the throw comes down the line. <laughs> Swing and a miss. The high school mascot for Pella High School should be the double pain, shouldn't it? Line drive to left field and catch me by LJ. Lucky she can dance to Jimmy and Gene Harris. Fly ball to center field. Hyzak has it. An eight pit. Darkville is a lovely town and one of my favorite trips, but there's enough different classifications where everybody gets, everybody gets a trophy. Annapolis, great. Weekend town. Dakota <laughs> sends this one deep to left field. Amani Larry sends it to the fence and catch made. And two Oxfords in the top two spots. Oxford, Ohio at number two. Oxford, Mississippi at number one. Tough play down the line. Luke Hill lets Jackson run. Ground ball to the right side. Scooped up over at first by Hines and the toss to Steven. Strike three called. And the pinch hitting Hughes. And Randall just past the reach of Amani Larry with a two out single. And a three pitch strikeout to notch his ninth K of the night. Gunnar Dennis hits a fastball over the inside third for a strikeout. So I mean, the way they have the entire year, there's a sense of confidence that maybe it's a little bit different than it was the last few years. It is played out. Was <laughs> you peppering him with questions or yeah, yes. eating competition? <laughs> <laughs> Both of them take. Swing and a miss. For Andrew Fisher and Tyson Harden picks up with Steve. 
Now make that strike three. Chopper to the left side and Mississippi State. Whoa, that one gets away. And this is second error of the season for a Mississippi State team, which is standing in Knoxville over on ESPNU. Tennessee leads LSU. Little roller to the right side. And that will do it. Mississippi State take for dominant right there. Cal Stevens goes eight strong. State pitching gets more than 10 strikeouts in the league. Ole Miss will try to get right tomorrow. The losing streak now reaches eight straight games.